I know you are an avid runner today. You probably had some raindrops if you were out there doing anything <laughs> outside. It was just a very kind of gray Sunday that we've been having today. Yeah, and then not unexpected, of course, no. this time of the year, right? We were kind of in between systems this morning. We got a chance to dry out early today. I even saw a few sun breaks, but the rain is back. And already wave one has passed through uh, an overhead here in Portland and is on its way out. Here's a look at radar over the last hour or so, and you can see the progress that rain and, yes, mountain snow has made. We're getting a little low in the action off to the west, but we'll zoom in just a little bit. And, and basically, the back edge of this first leading edge of rain has made its way to the I-5 corridor. Uh, case in point, as we take you live out to the Reserve Golf Course and Vineyard, uh, there's some breaks in the clouds out there right now in Aloha. But we go a little farther west and south to Newport, and the rain is back. A live look at Yaquina Bay, and the, the breeze is starting to pick up a little bit as well. All right, over the last 12 hours, the clouds have certainly been here and the rain has moved in. There's our storm system. It's anchored off in the Gulf of Alaska, driving a cold front now onshore uh, across western Washington. And that will continue to progress southward as we go through the evening. So maybe a brief break in the rain here in the Willamette Valley over the next hour or two. But the rain will be back and probably even a little bit heavier as we go into this evening. This is a look at future cast at 9 o'clock. It's raining. It's raining overnight. But, you know, most of this will probably be out of here. Uh, in the wee hours of tomorrow morning. Now, we will be left with some showers, I think, for the first part of Monday, but that should start to clear, and there's some, uh, there's some hope here. We may actually finish our Monday with some sun breaks. We should have a decent-looking sunset, maybe tomorrow evening. Of course, now a sunset gets into the uh, well into the 7 o'clock hour. All right, rainfall. Uh, you know, we kind of need it. We're a little light in the rain bucket for the month of March, so we'll take what we can get at this point. Uh, about a third to maybe four-tenths of an inch of rain, a pretty popular number up and down the I-5 corridor. More than that, obviously, at the coast and up in the Cascades. That will translate to snowfall. We'll look at that in a second. Temperature-wise, not going very far overnight tonight, probably only getting down into the lower 40s. So a, a milder night than where we were, say, earlier in the week, but then not warming all that much as Futurecast keeps most of the I-5 corridor tomorrow within a degree or two of 50. Of course, it will be cold enough for snow up in the Cascades. There's a live look right now at Timberline where the snowflakes are flying once again. The breeze is starting to pick up as well. There's a winter weather advisory effect for the Northern Blues and the Cascades of Oregon and Washington. Overnight tonight, snow levels generally around 3,000 feet on the Oregon side, 2,500 feet on the Washington side. That's, that winter weather advisory kicks in at 8 p.m. Uh, through the day tomorrow. Here's a look at the snowfall. Uh, fairly impressive. Probably a good 6 to 12 in the Oregon Cascades and maybe even a little better than that at the ski resort. So they're going to do well with this system. We've got another one on track for Wednesday. So that's pretty cool to see that. From the mountains to the coast, another really cool sight. And I want to thank John Monroe for sending this gorgeous shot in of Schooner Creek. This was a sunset earlier this week in Lincoln City. We'll probably see a sunset like that tomorrow night and maybe some beautiful sunsets at the end of the week upcoming. Thank you, John, for sending that in. You can follow him on Instagram at Headstand Photography. I mentioned the week ahead looks pretty good. Well, the first couple of days may be a little wet. We're going to start tomorrow with some rain. We'll finish with some sunshine. Brittany, Wednesday looks like a rainy day as well with the showers then kind of trickling over to Thursday. But check this out. I kind of hinted about this last night. It's looking at least like some, we've got a little higher confidence here looking forward to next weekend that we are maybe going to enjoy some sunshine, a lot of sunshine with highs well into the 60s. Oh. So there you go. Yeah. Start planning your day off next week. <laughs> it is looking so good next weekend. All right. Thanks so mm -hmm. much, Chris.